my Lord Jesus Christ died today in the afternoon on a Friday after enduring severe beatings, ridicule, spit, endless tormenting. His body broken beyond recognition. Blood flowed freely from his wounds. Crown of thorns mocking me on his head. Nails on his hands and feet, crimson red. Afflicted but did not open his mouth. Wrongly accused but kept his lips shut. The very people wanting to take his life were the ones he lovingly kept in his mind. Crucify him, they said. Crucify him. His blood is on us and on our children. Pilate washed his hands, guiltless and clean. Release to them the criminal they have chosen. The great greater God who came from above was born a human being abounding in love. Water to wine, aim to walk, a blind to see. Rebuked spirits, raised the dead, calmed the sea. He talked about the good news of the kingdom, magnified the spirit behind the law and the mount. Oh, what a privilege it must have been to catch a glimpse of the Lord, to hold, heal, and touch. It is the Father's will to crush him and suffer, to be numbered among the transgressors, bore our pain and laid on himself our iniquity, the Lord's wrath on him, as he cried in agony, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The suffering of our Savior Jesus was real. Our sins had hidden God's face from him. We may never fully understand the depth, but know that he did it willingly for our sake. And so our Savior said, it is finished. Bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. The debt of mankind now paid in full. The temple curtain torn from top to bottom. Our Lord Jesus Christ died that fateful day. Two thousand years ago, in the afternoon, on a Friday. He died that we might live with God for eternity, forever sharing in their love, power, and glory.